on. So today I just wanted to kind of tell you about my experience going through sorority recruitment and give you some tips and things that I didn't know that I wish I knew. So if you guys don't know already, I go to Boston University. I'm about to be a junior and I rushed the spring of my sophomore year. So that's kind of later than when most people rush at BU. Most people go through sorority recruitment the spring of their freshman year, but as probably a lot of you know, I was on the lightweight rowing team my full first year at BU, so I just didn't even know about recruitment or really like what it was. Since I went through last spring, I've been wanting to make this video for a while for you guys, and I've gotten so many questions about like what recruitment is, maybe if you're not from the US or there isn't Greek life at your school. So finally, I'm like, ooh, I gotta do it right now. It's like nearing the end of August, and I know a lot of you guys are actually going through recruitment right now for the fall semester of your school. And actually, my friend Tasha is going through recruitment starting tomorrow at USC, so I was like, I gotta get this video up here for everyone that's rushing kind of earlier. So first, I thought I would just go through some terms that I didn't even know what they were going through recruitment. And then another thing is I never really saw myself like in a sorority, never knew that I would go through recruitment. But basically, since I was on the lightweight rowing team all my freshman year, I was only friends with athletes and I was in this little like athlete bubble and it was great, I still love them. But at the same time, I knew that I should probably branch out, especially going to Boston University where there's like 20,000 kids undergrad. I'm like, I need to like meet more people, you know? Okay, so obviously rush, I'm pretty sure it just means like recruitment, like going through rush recruitment. Same thing. When you're just kind of talking to all the different sororities and trying to feel out like which one you're going to be in. And then to go with that, like parties. So I didn't know what those were. Like, I don't know if you guys are like me. Like, I was just clueless. Like, I didn't know anything about them. So basically, the different chapters on your campus, a chapter is like that specific sorority on your campus. And then the parties are the different parties, essentially, that the chapters have each day going through recruitment. So at BU, it's four days long. I know at some of the bigger schools, like Southern schools, it can be like over a week. At BU, the first day you meet with all 10, and then the second day you meet with eight. Third day you meet with five, and I think that's like half an hour, 45 minutes. And then the last day, prep night, where you're between your top two, you meet with them for an hour each. That's how it goes at BU. I don't know how it is other places. And then a bid is like your official invitation into that sorority at the end of rush and then a pnm i never knew what that was when people were talking about it but basically pnm just means potential new member so if you're going through recruitment you're a pnm like at bu there was like 800 people going through recruitment in the spring so that was like 800 pnms another term i heard a lot was legacy didn't know what that meant and a legacy is basically someone who's i think it's like their mom or their grandma or their aunt like someone in their family above them was in a specific sorority when they were in college so then they would be a legacy for that sorority a suicide bid never heard of that actually till like the end of rush and i think at BU you're not even allowed to do it maybe you are i don't know but basically it's after prep night you only pick like one sorority that you'd want to be in so it's kind of like suiciding because if you only pick that one and then they drop you then you're just not in any and i know at BU you don't do that because you just pick like one two and if you get through prep night you're like guaranteed to be either in your first one or your second one Hi, Squishy. And what's different at BU, I know this is really different than most schools, but there actually isn't sorority houses at BU. So recruitment's actually at a hotel and you just visit like 10 different rooms that the chapter's like set up for recruitment. It's like a really different experience in most schools where you get to go to their house and like tour the house and everything because there isn't sorority housing at BU. And then the groups that you're split up in during recruitment, it's like very, very organized. I didn't even know that going into it, but they organize it so well. Like you're not gonna feel lost, like you don't know what you're doing. Cause I was really worried about that, but like no one knows what they're doing. It's everyone's first time going through recruitment, you know? And then they have like around two current members in sororities that disaffiliate during the time of recruitment and you can't figure out or know what sorority they're in so that they like help you throughout the process and you can talk to them and they're kind of like your little mentor counselors. I love mine, they were so sweet and at BU they're called Pie Kais, but I know at other schools are called like Ro Gammas. I remember on prep night I sat down with one of my Pie Kais, Jenny, and I was like, girl, help me out. Like, I don't know what I'm doing and just kind of like talking it out with someone just really helps put into perspective like your thoughts and like what ones you're really feeling it in. Like for me, I talked it out with her and I was like, wait, on one party in prep night I cried, the other one I didn't. I know what I'm supposed to be in and it sounds so crazy like, I thought going into it, I was like, oh, this is a bunch of mumbo jumbo. Like, girls are so crazy about their sorority. And, like, cry during recruitment. I'm like, that's not going to be me. Like, I don't even really care. But then, like, there I was in prep night crying. So, you never know. But another thing I didn't realize is that they match you up with people to talk to during recruitment based on maybe your interests and where you're from, stuff like that. I thought it was just totally random. Like, I remember my first party I walked into. And I don't know, it might be different to other schools again but we're like walking in in like an alphabetical line and they're in a line inside to like all the girls in the chapter and then you like meet and like walk together and i didn't realize that i was like matched up with a girl so i kind of was just like looking around like walking around and she's like oh wait come on we're going over here and i'm like wait am i talking to you and then the first thing she said to me is i'm from upstate new york and i live with all the lightweight rowers and i was like wow we're like the same person so they do match you up don't be like afraid because it's actually nice having something in common with the person you're talking to so you can be like oh like upstate new york blah 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 relatable but it's like 
kind of helpful that way, but like a little bit creepy. Like they'll bring up things and you're like, wait, how did you know that about me? Like they stalk you before you go through recruitment. Like they pretty much stalk everyone. They like look at your Instagram, stuff like that to like match you up based on interest. So just, just know that. Cause I was like, wait, what? why are all these people like me? Another thing I didn't realize is how much people that are going through recruitment, like research sororities and kind of pick before recruitment, like which one they want to be in, which I totally would not recommend because Everyone said this at BU during recruitment and I was kind of like, oh, whatever, but it's so true. Like you have to trust the process because it's that way for so many reasons and it always ends up like working out. And another thing is you shouldn't talk to other PNMs during recruitment about like what sororities are your favorite or try to like influence them on what ones you think are best or like, you know what I mean? Cause then there's just biases and like really you should just be in the sorority that you feel the most comfortable in and you feel like you can be yourself and you feel like you're with the girls that are going to be your sisters and best friends. And I know it's hard when you're with like 800 girls going through recruitment like all anyone ever wants to talk about is their parties and like, oh, did you go to this one and hear that and blah, 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 blah. But like really trying to stay like out of it all. Like I really was just trying to like lay low and I'm like, I'm not trying to get involved in like any drama or like, cause it can be really dramatic. Like especially towards the end of recruitment, like people will be crying or really upset or like so many people drop. But yeah, I would say just go into it. Everyone says this too, like go into it so open-minded because you have no idea what sorority you're gonna end up in. And I really do think it all works out for a reason because for me specifically, I guess I'll just say it right now. Um, I went into it as open-minded as I could, but also rushing as a sophomore. I knew a lot about the sorority, just being at BU already for a year and a half, and I knew a lot of the girls in the different sororities, so I kind of based them off of the girls that I knew in the different sororities, which again, like, I wouldn't recommend doing. So going into it, I'm not even going to say the names of any sororities at all, but there was this one sorority that I knew a bunch of girls in, thought they were so sweet, and I was like, I'm going to be in this sorority. Like, I just knew. And then after the first day meeting with all 10, I was like, wow, that one definitely like stood out to me above like all the others. Like I'm going to be in this sorority, love them. They're so sweet, great. It's all over. Like I only want this one. And then I come back the next day and the only sorority that had dropped me was that sorority. And I was crushed. Like I think I almost started crying. Like I had like tears in my eyes because I was like, what? Like I was just so thrown off because I was like, I had such a great conversation with the girls I talked to. Like we were like laughing. I was like talking to the president. Like it was great. And then, so for them to be like the only one that dropped me, I was like crushed, you know what I mean? What I realized is it really does work out the way it's supposed to, and I'm so happy I didn't drop because I really was considering it because that's like the only one I wanted to be in. So do not go in to recruitment with that mindset because you just have to be so open-minded. Like I probably would have been happy in a number of sororities, but definitely the one I ended up in is like so for me and I found like my best friends in there. So yeah, definitely if a sorority that drops you, it's for a reason and you would be better off not in that sorority anyway so don't worry about that yeah I'm so blessed that it worked out the way it did because I think if I ended up being in the one that I wanted to be in I wouldn't have been as happy if I'm in the one that I am in right now if that makes sense and again like this kind of goes with what I said before but definitely rush like for yourself and not for like friends because you want to be in a sorority with them or like just try to be in a sorority that you already have friends in. Because the way I saw it is I went into recruitment knowing like maybe 10 people that were going through recruitment as well. A lot of them like being sophomores that didn't rush freshman year like me. And so many of my friends dropped going through it. So many people dropped going through it because they just realized it's not for them and that's totally okay. And I actually, all of the people that I rushed with that are in sororities were all in different ones. So I think that's even better because like you're still friends with them. You can make friends with their new friends. They can make friends with your new friends and just kind of like expands on your whole friend group instead of rushing with like three of your friends and being like we all need to be in this one you know what i'm saying so definitely i think just follow your heart that's so dumb but like you'll end up where you need to you know another thing i want to stress is try it even if you're only a tiny bit considering it because i really wasn't like i said before i didn't see myself in a sorority i was like oh i don't know but really what pushed me to rush was that i was like i want to make more friends and branch out like i'm at bu for four years i'm friends with like my little athlete bubble over here but like i'm not going to meet all these other people and like, how can I meet with them? How can I connect with people and like make other friends while I'm at BU? Because like, that's for me, one of the biggest parts of college is just like meeting people that are different than yourselves and kind of branching out and, you know, learning about different people's cultures, where they're from, just everything. So I just, that was really important to me to meet different types of people at BU. And I was so nervous before recruitment. I was so nervous. I remember the day before being with my friend Sasha being like, I can't do it, I can't do it, I'm freaking out. Like, I was just so nervous about like talking to everyone. But really, just know that they're as excited to meet you as you're excited to meet them. And they're college kids just like you. Like, yes, they're in a sorority already, but they just want to have a conversation with you and hear about what you're doing, what your interests are, like 
what your major is, where you're from, like how many dogs you have, your siblings, stuff like that. So that's really what I would recommend talking about during your conversations with people anyway. Whatever is important to you, talk about that. But yeah, to wrap up what I was saying before, even if you're like iffy about it, just try it because you can always draw. But I have a feeling once you start, you might find out that it's for you. Yeah, I would just definitely recommend it. And then like I was saying before, things to talk about, maybe to not talk about as well. I remember one girl said this to me going through recruitment and kind of stuck with me and she was like, don't talk about the three Bs. And I'm like, what's that? And it's boys, booze, and Barack. And I know Barack isn't our president anymore. But basically, don't talk about politics, don't talk about boys, and don't talk about drinking or partying or anything. Because those are kind of a more... I don't know, just topics that you shouldn't talk about during recruitment. Yeah, so like for me, YouTube always came up. I know some of my friends that do YouTube going through recruitment kind of like didn't want to talk about it or bring it up. But when people would say to me, it's like, what do you do? What clubs are you in? What sports do you play? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, literally, I do nothing because of this one big thing that's my whole life. So like, obviously, I have to talk about it. And so many people thought it was so cool. But like, obviously, if you're not doing YouTube, just talk about like your major, what you're so interested in, like the clubs you're in, like stuff like that, you know? Another thing I wanted to say is after going through recruitment and before you go in as well during it, just know that it doesn't have to be your whole life. And I know Greek life is like a way bigger thing. Maybe down south, but at BU, it's like a really fun, great thing to be in for like your social life. Obviously philanthropy, getting internships, jobs. But I always look at other schools, it's like, I'm Gretchen, I'm an Alfie. Instead of like at BU, it's like, I'm Gretchen, I'm in Alfie, but I also do all these other things. So yeah, I still hang out with my old friends for Greek life that I met through lightweight rowing. I still obviously do YouTube. I still do so much that I did before Greek life, but it just kind of like adds to your experience of college, I would say. And also I wanted to note that I remember during new member period, right after I joined, I was so overwhelmed like I was obviously very stressed out during recruitment I remember I lost my voice I got kind of sick because you're there like all day long you like forget to eat you like don't sleep as much because you're like really freaking out and nervous and it's just like a stressful time and then during new member period it's so fun like midnight was so fun but everyone's just so excited to meet you and you have stuff like every day for like a month or two after you join so I remember being like oh my gosh this is already so much commitment like I don't know if I can handle this like a big part of the reason I quit lightweight rowing was so that I could, you know, focus on academics, try to be like a normal person that didn't like sleep three hours a night and was running on nothing. And I started to feel like, whoa, I'm overwhelmed with sororities already. But just know that new member period is a lot more stuff going on and stressful than like once you're actually initiated and like in the sorority because there's just so much you have to do right as you're in the sorority like you try to meet everyone big little all of that but at least like at BU you have the timeline of eventos after big little to like calm down a lot more and you can kind of be as involved or as less involved as you want to be so definitely recommend being like super involved because that way is just way more fun and you get to like hang out with your sisters and you know do really cool stuff for your philanthropy or fundraising I feel like people that are really worried about the commitment just know that you get out as much as you put into it kind of the same as YouTube I think I covered like everything that I had a lot of like misconceptions about and just kind of like advice for you guys but I know I definitely probably left stuff out of here so if you guys have any questions or like subjects that I totally like didn't touch on definitely leave me a comment down below so I can answer for you guys I might make like a part two of this video or do another talk about like Greek life specifically so yeah I think that's it thank you guys so much for watching good luck going through recruitment this year and I'll see you in my next video